Hey, it is Andy from the Fence Post Indie Music and Vinyl Blog, continuing my top 22 albums of 2022 countdown. Today, I am looking at numbers 15 through 11. To start it off, number 15, we've been going about this all wrong by Sharon Van Etten. I am a longtime fan of Sharon Van Etten and am always excited to explore new music of hers when it's released. We've Been Going About This All Wrong finds her exploring more dreamy landscapes than before, but it's a direction that she's been heading for a while now. That said, this album is a bit of a grower. It might not resonate with the diehard fans right off the bat, but given time, it'll prove to be delightfully provocative. Number 14 is Spiritualized, Everything Was Beautiful. 30 years on from their 1992 debut LP, Laser Guided Melodies, Spiritualized continues pumping out hypnotic space rock. Everything Was Beautiful seems a little bit short, with just seven songs, especially stacked up next to double LPs, not to be confused with double albums, uh, like, well, many of theirs, containing 10 to 12 songs on four sides of wax. If anything, that's my lone complaint here, and likely why it didn't end up higher on the list. At times, it almost seems incomplete. Albeit, that doesn't take away from its greatness all too much. Still, I would have liked to see at least one or two additional songs. Alas, what can you do? Number 13, Brian Jonestown Massacre, Fire Doesn't Grow on Trees. I've always had a bit of a penchant for thick, sludgy, psychedelic rock, and Brian Jonestown Massacre knows how to tickle that funny bone. I mean, after all, he's been delving into psychedelic rock since 1993, at least. Fire Doesn't Grow on Trees is the 19th studio album from Brian Jonestown Massacre. In my video review of the release, I noted that I found it hard to find any weak points on the album, and that continues to remain true months later. Number 12 is Pre-Pleasure by Julia Jacqueline. Amongst my most listened to records of all time is Julia Jacqueline's 2019 LP, Crushing. So I just had to snap up the early bird pressing of her new album, Pre-Pleasure. Like its predecessor, Crushing, Pre-Pleasure took a while to sink in, and to be honest, it's still growing on me. But the more I listen to it, the more I love it. It's gonna be a mainstay for quite some time moving forward. And finally for today's video, number 11, Arcade Fire's We. Earlier this year, I was pretty sure Arcade Fire's We would hold a very high spot on my year end list. In fact, I thought it was gonna be a top five or even top three record. When I say that, yeah, top three. Then the allegations arose around Win Butler, and I've since struggled with it, understandably. Still, I can't discount the impact the album had on me months prior to that. There was a catharsis over the summer when I took long walks through the nature preserve near my house and experienced a reckoning of sorts. A lot of it took place as I listened to We. It was kind of this coming out of the haze of COVID, uh, as I had done so quite a while ago, at the same time, there was still all these lingering mental things that you work through after some kinds of events that take place and transpire in your life. As I prepped this post, I revisited the album for the first time since probably August, and I was immediately reminded of the power that it had over me at that time. Say what you will about Wynn Butler, it really is a great album, and I'd be remiss if I didn't include it in the top 20. There you have it, counting down 15 to number 11 of my top 22 albums of 2022. I still have 10 more to go, so we are just past the half point. So don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you next time.